My name is Dr. Lucy White Ferguson. I'm a chiropractor and I've been working with muscle related patterns of pain for over 20 years. My interest started when I studied with Dr. Janet Travell, who was President John Kennedy's medical doctor. She devoted her entire life to researching and teaching about muscle related patterns of pain. Over the years, I've worked with many patients who've developed pain in the use of the computer. I can teach them stretches effectively in my office, but when they return to their computer, they become involved and often fail to perform the stretches consistently. That's the reason for the development of these videos, so that people at their computers can perform stretches correctly and consistently and hopefully enjoy them at the same time. People develop pain at the computer because for long periods of time they maintain the same positions and they perform repetitive functions. These activities put stress on the muscles. The muscles tighten and become knotted. This condition is called myofascial pain syndrome. When the muscles are knotted and tightened in this way, they cause local pain and tenderness, and they can refer pain to other areas. And they also affect how joints work and how nerves work. It's important to remember that you can't just work through the pain and expect it to go away. But stretching is an effective means of both preventing problems and treating problems because the tight bands of knotted muscles can be stretched out back to their normal length and normal function in a pain-free state. In order to perform the stretches, it is helpful to stretch muscles in groups. For example, if you have pain in your arm or hand, it can be referred from muscles in the forearm, the upper arm, the shoulder, the neck. Also, the posture in which you hold your upper body affects how you coordinate the muscles. It affects the load that goes into the muscles in your forearm and hand. So for this reason as well, it's useful to stretch the muscles in groups. Likewise, muscles in the neck can cause headaches and upper back pain. Lower back pain often is referred from muscles in the front of the back. So these videos are arranged in groups of stretches so that it is easy to stretch the muscles that are involved in the overall problem. In order to stretch effectively when you use these videos, it's important to coax the muscles, not to stretch into pain. If you overstretch, you, the muscles will resist and often will become tighter and you'll be stiffer at the end than when you started. If you want to stretch a little further, it's worthwhile to use your breath. Breathe in, and when you breathe out, there's a natural relaxation that makes it easy to stretch a little bit further. Don't expect to stretch the same amount from day to day because there are natural variations in the muscle tension. But consistent use of the stretches over time often brings relief. How much you benefit from performing these stretches depends on a number of things. One of the most important is the ergonomics or design of your workstation. The most critical factor in the workstation is the keyboard. Wherever your elbows fall, that's exactly where your keyboard should be located. If you have to lift up or reach forward or reach down, you introduce sustained tension into the hand, the forearm, the shoulder, the neck, and it's a prescription for pain. If you have a broad torso, you need a split keyboard so that you don't introduce a tension having to come in to a normal size keyboard. The monitor should be just below eye height. If you wear glasses, the center of the glasses should be such that you can see the frame without having to tilt your head back. When you use a mouse, make sure that you don't overuse certain muscles to make the corrections and, and things that you need to do with the mouse. If you tend to use a mouse a lot, often a trackball allows you to do subtler movements to control the same actions. It's often helpful to have a footrest so that you can relax your legs and lower body. A lumbar support 
can be helpful. You may want to tilt the chair seat or have a tilted cushion to place your body in a relaxed and restful position while you're working. If you have arms on your armchair, it's important that they be at the proper height. If they're not at the proper height, be sure to pad them because even a small difference in the height of the armrest can introduce tension that again can affect you seriously over time. Other factors that affect your benefit from these stretches include your overall physical condition, so aerobic exercise is recommended. Your diet and nutritional status is important, so it's worthwhile to avoid empty calories and eat healthy proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Good sleep is important because muscles relax fully when you get good sleep at night, and it's helpful to address any sustained sources of emotional stress and strain. If you develop pain problems with the computer that are not easily addressed, then it's worthwhile to consult with a healthcare professional.